Hi, this is Jim Clary. Again, welcome to airmodtraining.com. And welcome to our video on how to install and run the EPA sample run of AirMod. For your experienced AirMod users, probably not a whole lot of information here you would find useful. However, to you folks just beginning, either curious about AirMod or beginning your, your path down uh, the road towards uh, air mod modeling, I think you'll find this to be very useful. In this video, Sarah, one of our associates, will explain how to download the air mod software from the EPA website, as well as how to set up and run the EPA test case. This will give you a good understanding of the basic mechanics of air mod and will set the foundation for you as you move forward in our videos to begin to add to your knowledge. Anyway, I'll turn it over to Sarah, so enjoy the video. I'm Sarah with AirModTraining.com. I'm going to show you how to download and run EPA's AirMod sample run in this training video. To get the files we need, go to EPA's Support Center for Regulatory Atmospheric Modeling website, also known as EPA's SCRAM website. And I'll have a link to this in the description below. First, go to Air Quality Models, then Dispersion Modeling, then Preferred Recommended Models, and the Air Mod Modeling System should be the first section you see. So scroll down to the Installation Guide section, and this is for a sample run that EPA created so that beginners can get familiar with running Air Mod, and we're just going to follow along with EPA's instructions. First, open the README file. So in the top here, EPA mentions if you're using a modern computer, you should have enough computing power to run AirMod. So typically, if your computer is made in the last 10 years or so, you should have no problems. So next, our first task is to create a subfolder where we will execute our sample run. And this directory can be located anywhere on your computer. You just need to make sure that you can find it later. EPA chose C slash AirMod slash TryMe we're going to make our folder in the M directory of this computer. So I'll open the M directory and in the white space, right click, go to new folder and type your folder name. Double click to go into that folder and in the path bar here, you can see our directory is now M slash try me. So going back to EPA's website, the next item on the list are the detailed instructions to install and execute AirMod. And again, we're going to follow along with what they have listed in these instructions. So next, right click on the sample run zip folder, go to save target as, change the path to the folder we just created then select Save. When it's finished downloading, go back to File Explorer and unzip the file. EPA has received reports on problems with third-party unzipping programs, so they suggest you use PK Unzip or WinZip, and I typically use the built-in feature in Windows, and I haven't noticed any problems. So right-click on the folder and hit Extract All, and there's already a subfolder in this zip file that sample runs, so I'm just going to delete that there and hit extract. You should see a sample run subfolder in addition to the zip file now. So double click on the folder. This is a folder where we will run AirMod. And the path to this directory is m slash try me slash sample run. AirMod is ran using a command prompt and must have an input file airmod.imp. And if you double click on the executable here, you'll see a screen flash. And at first it seems like nothing happened. But since this input file, airmod.imp, exists in this folder, the model actually did run, but we don't really know anything about what's going on, especially if there was even any error or success messages. So when you run airmod in the command window, any important messages will be printed to the screen. So one option to open a command prompt is to 
right click on the Windows icon in the lower left and open a command prompt this way. To get to the M directory, type capital M colon enter. Then to enter into the directory we just created, type cd space try me slash sample run. Another much simpler option is to go to File Explorer, select File, then Open Command Prompt. When you open a command prompt in this manner, the path is already set to your working directory. So the input file for the sample run is airtest underscore org dot INP. When running AirMod, the input file must be named airmod.inp. So typically, the input file will be copied to airmod.inp before running the model, and the output file airmod.out will be copied to a unique file name so it won't be overwritten if the model is run again. So in this case, to copy airtest.org.inp, just simply type copy space airtest underscore org.inp to airmod.inp. Since our executable is named airmod.exe, all you need to do is type airmod, then enter, and the program prints the runtime information to the command window, and you know it's finished running when you get a new command line to type in. So the airmod.out file should have just been created. When EPA ran the sample run previously, they copied this output file to airtest underscore org.out. So we'll copy our file to a different file name. So copy airmod.out and let's pick sample run.out. There are a few different ways that we can compare the files to ensure we ran the sample run correctly. My favorite option is to open the output files in a text editor that has a compare option. So I'll select the compare files here. We have sample run out and ear test org out and hit OK. So it shows there are some differences, but they're just caused because of the differences between the date and time. All right, so everything matches. So we successfully completed an air mod run. Now that our model run is over, we should go back to File Explorer and either delete this executable or at the very least append something like old to the end of the file name. Because EPA only includes this in the sample run zip folder for convenience and this file actually may not be up to date. And that concludes our presentation on how to download and run EPA's AirMod sample run. If you run into a problem with any part of your AirMod modeling project, we offer online AirMod training help that you can purchase from airmodtraining.com. During our session, you'll be able to ask us any question related to your AirMod modeling project. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, AirMod Training, so you'll be notified when we upload any new videos. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.